It's a magical wonderland of windmills, tulips, tiny beers, and pretty girls on bicycles. Not to mention its progressive views on marijuana, prostitution, and same-sex marriage. The country is the world's role model for social harmony. And that's never more apparent than during the winter celebration of Santa Claus, when St. Nicholas comes to town and children and adults are like a charm by his generous spirit and... Wait, who the f*** is that? Our kid is actually the, the assistant, the helper of St. Nicholas. We live together in a big castle in, in Spain. In winter we come over here to help St. Nicholas to bring out all the presents. Hans here is one of the many Dutch performers who puts on blackface every year in celebration. Black Pete plays the part of a little bit naughty. We are doing the things you should actually not do. I can stand on a table middle, in the middle of the class. That's not allowed. Yeah. And I'm allowed to. And they can punish me. Oh, Pete, you shouldn't do that. Or like talking in the movies. Yeah. Or... But it's okay. Pete's just a harmless chap who looks nothing like a super offensive minstrel character from the darkest days of entertainment. Black Pete is just a harmless, time-honored tradition like hiding Easter eggs or slavery. I mean, if someone's been doing something for a really long time, you can't get mad at them, right? It's hella racist. This is artist and activist Grinch Ligario, because every holiday story needs a Grinch. Black Pete is a figure that was concocted in 1850, about 12 years, 13 years before the abolition of slavery. So the figure of Black Pete is actually another presentation of what should we do with black people. Some people were um, thinking that Black Pete was referring to slavery. Was that because in the earlier books it actually was? We are actually not Negroes. We are black because of the chimney. If you go to the chimney, you get black. But why the hair then? Why would that be affected from the chimney? Well, it's also black, it? yeah. It's, yeah. It's curly hair. Yeah. I, I don't know why, why we became curly hair. So but, well, because black mean? people have curly hair. Yeah, of course. Why is the lip so red? That's because if you don't have red lips with a black face, it doesn't look nice. It's just because it, it's, it looks very angry. Not good enough, says Quincy, who without even red lips, he still has a friendly face. Don't you think it's nice that people want to look like you, though? Um, uh, no. no. <laughs> Seeing my skin color as a suit that can be worn and taken off is not a compliment. I'm going to put an exclamation mark next to the no. <laughs> so it seems that, like, black people are the ones who are offended by black people. So if we took the black out of the whole thing. Do you yes. think that would help? For example... It, yeah, it might help. Now this is my, one of my favorites, Guaco Paco, right? Now he comes down the chimney, and if you're a bad kid, he puts guacamole in your stocking, but you don't get any corn chips. Yeah, but that refers to a group of people in the world, so no. No? Racist? There might be people that might think it's racist, yes. All right, this is Bombay Bob. No. No, leaves the sleigh with the red dot on his forehead. Yeah, no, no, because that looks like slavery. Racist or not racist? Not racist. Racist. Yes. Yeah. Sweatshop Steve. No, He's no, Asian. No. Elves build, like, cell phones and whatnot. Pete is always laughing. And He's always nice. laughing. This guy's too He's miserable. Nice. Yeah. Miserable. Now, this is the last one. This one's Dutch. She's called Frank Ann. <laughs> yeah. She lives in your attic. Yeah. And then once a year, she comes down and judges the children whether they're good or bad, and she writes it in a diary. She's very frank. She really tells it how it is. Yeah. She's a straight shooter. Frank Ann. It doesn't work here, because Frank Ann and Anne Frank are the same. We will connect that mm, to not our the history. Same. Yes, they will. <laughs> different. We know the difference. We know it. Incredibly, 91% of Dutch people are cool with this. I hope people realize what a beautiful tradition it is for the little kids. And isn't that what's really important? The kids. Holiday traditions give us some of childhood's most magical and precious memories. Is this something we really want to rob them of? Would you be sad if Black Pete went away? No. You wouldn't be sad? Wouldn't bother you? I think I'm with you on that one. <laughs>